to auscultate the posterior thorax. Begin at the apices and proceed downward, moving systematically from side to side and comparing the sounds in symmetrical areas. Using the diaphragm of the stethoscope, listen to at least one entire breathing cycle at each location. Listen to the duration, pitch, and intensity of the inspiratory and expiratory sounds, decide what type of breath sounds you're hearing, and note any added sounds. Now this time, breathe deeply through your mouth. Let me know if it is uncomfortable. During auscultation, have the patient breathe deeply through his mouth. If the patient becomes uncomfortable, allow a rest period. Now let's listen as the examiner auscultates. If you hear bronchial or bronchovesicular breath sounds where they should not be, listen for transmitted voice sounds. Now, I want to say 99, please. While auscultating 99. the chest, ask the patient to say 99. 99. 99. Voice sounds 99. that are louder and clearer than normal are 99. called bronchophony. 99. This time, would you say E? Then have the patient say E. e. When E sounds like e. A and has a nasal quality, e. egophony is present. E. E. This time, would you whisper one, two, three, please? Finally, ask the patient to whisper one, two, one, three. Two, three. When these one, sounds are louder three, and clearer three. than normal, Whispered pectoriloquy is present. All these changes in voice sounds suggest the air-filled lung has become airless.